How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here. Uh, today I've got a fun little video for you. It's going to be on this device right here. This is the Samsung Galaxy S5. Awesome device. We're going to be talking about how to update to the newest OTA update which is NI2 and maintain our root access and our custom recovery like safe strap and so on. Get up to the new builds and still be able to flash all those new NI2 based ROMs. So let's go ahead and do this. Alright guys, so for this process to work, you're going to have to do a bunch of different things. So let me just kind of go through them. One, you're going to have to have um, root access, you're going to have to have safe strap already installed on your device and working. So root access, safe strap, those are going to be your two things. Um, then you're going to have to be able to have a computer available because you're going to flash some firmware in Odin um, and you have to download a couple files. So. Here you can see I already have root access right there. Um, I would show you my safe strap app on here, but it's, the app's not actually installed, but it is installed on the device. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to download. Let's see if I can find my download folder, but it's got everything. Then go into storage, external. I think I have them in ROMs. Yes. So you're going to want to download this right here. So we're just going to go to properties. I'll give you the full name. So K L T E Z, I said V Z W underscore root odex underscore N I two zip. That is the ROM. That's what we're going to use, and we're going to flash in a safe strap. Okay. Now I'm going to show you uh, in my settings. So this is going to update you to the newest OTA update and allow you to have root access because that ROM has root access. Now. This is basically the system is what you're going to be flashing. You can see right here that I am on NI2 already. I already did this process, okay? So I'm just repeating it to show you guys how this works. So it doesn't really matter what build you're on. When you get done with this process, you will be on NI2 and you'll have everything set up to go ahead and get NI2 going and be able to flash NI2 based ROMs and all that kind of good stuff. I did this from whatever the previous build was, I don't even remember at this time, the previous build number, and this process worked flawlessly and very easily. Easily. So, we have the ROM on our on our device. Make sure you download it to your, your device right here, and we're gonna go ahead and flash this. So to do it, you're gonna power off your device, do a restart, and like I said, you have to have safe strap installed, so it's very important that you have that. And all we're going to do is we're going to go into safe strap and um, you could do an Android backup. You could do that kind of things, uh, which is fine. Uh, if you want to do it, I'm not, I'm going to go ahead and go into recovery. So you saw safe strap splash screen. I don't, I'm not really going to worry about a backup. I can always just do a full Odin restore or something if something goes south, but um, you know, you may want to do that as well. So to do this, you have to flash this to stock ROM slot. So it means you're going to wipe your entire device out when you do it. Just part of the uh, situation here. So to do this, first thing you want to do is, I guess like I said, you could do a backup. You could swipe up across and do a full backup so you have a backup of your system. Um, once you've done that, you're probably going to want to go into wipes and swipe across and wipe data factory reset. Uh, I'm not going to do this because I like my data on here and I'm not going to get rid of it. But this is the first time you've installed NI2 it's highly recommended that you wipe data factory reset otherwise you could get some glitches and some problems that gives you a clean install which is actually what I did uh, for the first time I should say so we're gonna go into installs gonna find the, that uh, ROM right there it is and swipe across to flash this ROM so once this ROM flashes it's very very important that you don't reboot system now um, you wanna get this thing into download mode and we're gonna hook it to the computer and then we're going to do some stuff through download mode from the computer when what we're going to flash is we're going to flash the firmware which is like your kernel we're going to flash your modems which is like your radio for your uh, cell signal this update does give you that XLT um, E signal that new boosted signal from Verizon so when you flash this over and you get this totally updated you'll be able to receive that new higher speed signal for 4G which is really really cool Alright, so you can see everything's looking good. 
Okay, so normally when you flash a ROM, you say reboot system now, right? We're not going to do that. We're going to hit, well, we can hit home and do it. We'll hit home, and we're going to go reboot, and then we're going to reboot to download mode. This is really important so that you can flash that official firmware, which, because you just updated your system, and but you kept root because the new system has root in it, and now you're going to update your firmware, your kernel, and all that kind of good stuff, your radio. So we're going to go to download mode. And the device will boot into download mode, which is right there. So let's just switch over to my computer, hook this thing up, and we'll flash some stuff over in Odin. Okie dokie. All right, so basically we've got our device in download mode. You can see we've got it connected to the uh, USB cable right there on our computer. Drivers are installed. I'll give you the drivers. Let's see. Here's Samsung drivers. You just run them and install them, and it's very simple. Exit when you're done. No big deal. Okay? You're going to need to have this program right here, which is Odin. I'll give you links to everything, so don't worry about any of that. You'll be able to get all this very easily downloaded to your uh, computer and your device. So you have Odin, and then lastly, you're going to need... Uh, that's the wrong one. Let's go here, and you're going to need this right here. This is a firmware only ni2tar.md5. That's what you're gonna flash in Odin. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Odin. We'll open the program, slide it over here so you guys can see it. And if your drivers are installed correctly, you're gonna see this thing, it says a com and a number, doesn't matter what the number is, just a com number. And it's gonna say added right here. So that means that your computer sees your device. So then you're gonna come in here and you're gonna to go to PA. And in different versions of Odin, I think it's called something different, but in here it's called PA. You're gonna to go to that, where those files are at, wherever you extracted them to. Mine came up automatically, this is the last place I was at. And firmware only, so you're just gonna click on it. And what's gonna happen is Odin is gonna check it and make sure everything looks good, and it does. It should be listed over here and you should be able to just hit start. So let's go ahead and hit start on Odin. And if everything goes well, it should go ahead and download. Now, my experience has been, when this happens, which it does, and it can be quite frustrating, you can see that uh, firmware update started, single download, and it says it's stuck. You can see it's stuck there, it's stuck here. This is what I've found sometimes works. So go ahead and unplug it. Plug it back in. It's gonna say failed, removed and added, and then try starting it again. And you can see that uh, it's actually writing boot, it's writing modems, um, and hopefully the modem bin goes there's recovery and shabam that's it you are done so if you get a freeze in uh, Odin just pull the plug plug it back in restart it and you should be good to go um, I guess my last comment on that also is you can also just pull battery and get into Odin mode with holding home uh, volume down and then power and then you'll have to hit volume up once it goes to this warning screen and you'll get into download mode again and then try flashing again with Odin. For some reason, I find that Odin just kind of fails every so often and you have to kind of finagle it. So hopefully that was, uh, so when you see that happen on your device, you don't freak out. Uh, that's not too uncommon actually uh, to have a freeze in your, you know, Odin flash. At least for me, I have, I, it seems to happen to me quite a bit. So here you go, Android is upgrading. You'll see that go run through its process. As soon as this is done, um, you should be on NI2. So let's let it boot up and we'll wrap this up. You're done on the computer. Close out your programs. Okie dokie. We'll go ahead and unlock. And since I didn't wipe data, all my applications are still there. Um, you're going to want to wipe data if you're doing this for the first time. It's just a repeat so you don't have to like I just did. Um, and everything should be good. You should have root access with SuperSU right there. There you go. You can see there. It should be working. And um, 
Obviously you still have safe strap installed, which is really nice. So we still have safe, we maintain our safe strap functionality for flashing custom ROMs. We have our root access and we're updated. So I'll just go ahead and show you in settings. About. And yeah, right there, NI2. Everything's uh, good to go, rock and rolling. I want to give a huge shout out to Beanstown for pulling all the software for us. This is based on official uh, firmware, so you get all your Verizon applications by using this method and all that, and it's it's uh, good to go. Uh, go ahead and find some NI2 based ROMs that you guys might want to install and flash away because your device is ready to handle it. You got the XLT network and all that goodies. So there you go. That's going to be the Galaxy S5 update to the newest OTA update. Hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more on the Galaxy S5. Hopefully a bunch of new devices coming out soon with all the new Nexuses. Be a lot of fun videos for that. And we'll catch you guys later. Root Junkie out. Yeah.